Hi everybody, uh, I'm Laura Jean. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, um, could you please subscribe and share? I really appreciate it. And for all of you that are always on my channel, I'm going to do a fake cake. Yay! Um, I forgot something, so I had to stop the video and start it over. So I kind of already put my spackling in the bowl. You're going to need lightweight spackling. Make sure it's lightweight spackling. This is what we're using for our frosting. I get mine on Amazon or at Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, the hardware store. And I put some in a bowl. So I'm just putting enough in the bowl, hopefully to get around this cake. I'm almost wondering if I should add another scoop. Let's just add another scoop because I really don't feel like making more. Just gonna add another scoop in there. All right, so I got my lightweight spackling in a bowl. You're gonna need paint. Whatever color cake you're doing, you're gonna need that color paint. And I'm doing Christmas green. This is the apple barrel from Walmart. Okay, apple barrel, Christmas green. This box, this round box that I'm using, isn't it pretty? It's almost sad to cover it. Um, but these are a lot cheaper than the uh, styrofoam cake forms that you get at Hobby Lobby, which I love. Uh, but a size cake form like this would be $14. And, I mean, you could use your 40% coupon, but if you're doing a three-tier one, uh, the other two, unless you go back different days, you can only use it once that day. So, I bought this cake box. It was $8.59 and then 50% off. So, much cheaper and they're just as pretty. Now, if the lid was loose, I would glue it on the inside, but this is really on tight, so I'm not even going to glue it. So I'm now going to just take my, let's shake that paint up a little better. I hate when there's dry crud around it. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to, if you guys happen to see me on camera, I am doing an oil treatment in my hair, so I'm really not trying to be on camera. <laughs> so I'm going to put paint in, you know, it depends on the color that you want. So, I'm going to put more in there. I hope I got enough because that's all I got at the Christmas green. And I'm going to stir it. You want to stir it really good and get those bubbles out. It's like a workout. Isn't that so pretty? It's Christmassy. I gotta go get more boxes. That's the only box I have. I gotta get more because I want to do a couple more cakes. I love how the chocolate one came out. The chocolate one's cool. It looks so real. And I finally sealed them. You gotta wait like two weeks for this to completely dry before you can seal it. And what did I sell them with? I know you're going to ask that. Ah, uh, is it in here? I'll have to, I'll put it in uh, descriptions. I can't remember which one I used. I got to go look. All right, I want it a little bit more greener. getting it all over me. I'm so messy at this. You're definitely going to need paper towels. <laughs> I'm a messy, I'm a messy baker. <laughs> okay, let me just stir it. I like to start so it's really whippy. So let me just stir it better. Because it's not whippy enough looking for me. So I just want to whip it up. Need to get a blender just for these. <laughs> that would be such a pain to clean. All right, five minutes of whipping. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add some flour to this because I want this to be more thicker. So, oh, I just got flour all over my pants. Uh, I'm just going to add some flour. Don't add too much. This is a tablespoon. Uh, I'm going to do like a little one and a half. Uh, don't add a lot of flour 
it, you really just gotta kind of guesstimate and eyeball it. But if you add too much flour, your cake when it dries will crack a little. Uh, my red one actually did a little cracking, but it's fine, it's still pretty. This will make it thicker. And if you want it more runny, you just add some water. I use conditioner, <laughs> hair conditioner. And the more paint you add, it also makes it more runny too, so. I really want to mix that in there. I'm still not liking the color of the grain. But I'm getting a little sick of stirring it. Hopefully when it's dry, it's a little darker. All right. So I have this little plastic clear thing that I bought from Hobby Lobby just to protect my mats when I'm doing work like this. So you'll see some markings on it. Sorry for the look of it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my lightweight spackle and I'll put it on here. And I usually grab it from the bottom. Now you don't wanna push really hard. You just wanna push up lightly. I just go up. It's really up to you how you put your frosting on. But to me, this is the easiest way. It doesn't have to be thick, okay? Don't gob it on there. There's no need to waste your spackling. When I did a cake, a, pra a practice cake, um, I put a lot on. <laughs> And I was like, that was stupid because I used a half a thing of spackling. You do not need that much. So just like push, you want to make sure you're covering everything. Just push from the bottom, tilt your knife, and then go up. I'm being a little particular, so. <laughs> so this I'm using in my kitchen. I'm just gonna use it as some decorations in the kitchen. I didn't do a lot to the kitchen. Uh, I'm still trying to finish decorating. By the time I finish it, it'll be Christmas. And it'll be time to take it all back down. So again, I'm just going around. I'm trying to make sure it's not on too thick. sitting in my chair. <laughs> Took over my chair. I'll move over. So you can just go back around and make sure you like it all and there's no air bubbles and then it's all covered. Just 
cake form is big. Or box. This box. It's really not a cake form. We're turning it into one, though. Alright. I think that's good. Alright. So, now I'm going to put on top of my tree this green Christmas tree. <clears throat> or on top of my cake. <laughs> not my tree. Um, this green Christmas tree that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think. Oh, no, the at-home store. I got it from the at-home store. So I'm going to put that on top of it. And I was thinking around the top of the tree. Hold on, guys. I just want to wipe my hands off because they're all green. I definitely keep uh, baby wipes or disinfectant wipes because it is messy. Or I'm messy. <laughs> Uh, and then I was thinking to go around. I got these from my at-home store, too. They came in a pack of four, and I just thought they would be cute with that big, tall tree. Now, these are a little heavier. The tree is super light, the big one. And I was thinking of using these around the outside, four of them, around the tall tree. But... I would have to hit my frosting pretty deep to make sure they're holding these. So I'm thinking I might do a little slit hole so they sit down in it a little bit before I put the frosting on, but I don't know. I think I'm just gonna dip them in something. We'll figure it out. I don't wanna do that. Sometimes I'll do that though. I'll put a hole if, I, if it's bigger or heavier to help hold it before I do the frosting. Actually, I did it after I did the frosting, which is, was a lot messier. All right. And then you just put like a little pipe cleaner or something so you know where the hole was once you got the frosting. Put the frosting over it and put your something there so you know where it was. But I'm going to take, I'm just making sure you can still see, frosting and do the top now. I keep sliding over. Oh, my cake is sliding off the stand here. No, I'm going to get stuff all over my mat. Oh, it slid over. Okay. <clears throat> I always kill my mats. I'm trying not to. <laughs> Alright, so just rub it on any way you want. These are quite addicting once you start making them and you do good and you're going to be like, oh my God. <clears throat> like I said, the first couple cakes I did were horrible, so don't give up. I mean, they were bad. <laughs> my sister tried to do one and she's like this. She won't do it again because their first one came out bad. And it's like, Lisa, my cake didn't come out nice till my third cake. Okay, so the second one was horrible. The first one was horrible, and the third one was the red and white one I did, and that was that was nice. So they, they take a little practice. So try it out first with the Dollar Tree boxes. It's just much cheaper to practice with. Or you just might nail it the first time because I'm showing you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm inspiring you. Hopefully I'm inspiring you. They're so fun. And they just look so real. Like, thank God my husband knows they're real. Because if he tried to cut it and ruined it, I'd kill him. <laughs> so I'm just putting a little extra up here. All right. So remember, we got those things. But I think I'm going to do... I know what I'm going to do for that. And we'll wait till we get to that point. For those trees. I'm just getting the rest of my frosting out because I might as well use it. Now, that frosting will stay good in a bowl um, for a few days. I mean, mine's been in there longer than that. It's been in there a week, but it was dried out and emptied, so 
um, a few, I'd say maybe up to a week. I mean, I've left mine in there and they stay good as long as your bowl's airtight. So if you have an extra, just try to use it up within that time. All right, I think this looks good. So now we're going to move on to, hold on, to the dripping. I want to do a white, do I want to do that first? Yeah. Um, I want to do a white dripping down the cake. In that, you don't use the lightweight spackle. We use something else. I'll just wipe this off. Ugh, so messy. All right. So for the dripping on the cake, we're going to use... Dap, dap caulk, and it's fast. You want to get the fast drying um, dap caulk, okay? I don't necessarily think it needs to be dap, but it's a fast drying acrylic latex caulk, okay? That's what you need. Screenshot um, to use for your dripping. So I already have some mixed in a bowl, and all I did was squeeze some of this into here. And you don't need a lot. I'd say about two tablespoons I put in here. Maybe a little three, maybe. Um, and then white paint, okay? Definitely put white paint in there. And I added a little conditioner, but you could use water to make it more runny. So I just added some of the um, caulking, some water, or I use hair conditioner from the Dollar Tree VO5. It makes it smell pretty. Um and paints, whatever color drip you want. I'm using white to make it look like vanilla frosting. Uh, where's my other? So I'm just gonna stir this up and you want it to be runny. So if it's not runny, just add more water, you know, to it. But we want it to be nice and runny. Okay, so we want it to drip down the sides. And I'm going to Oh, my ears are so plugged. <clears throat> I'm going to get, I use, now you could just use a spoon or whatever. I like to use this little drip thing that I got from Hobby Lobby in the bakery section stuff. So I'm just going to pour it in here. Oh, I really should have put cardboard down <laughs> or wax paper or something under that cake. All right, so I'm going to put my finger down here so it doesn't drip out and pour it in there. My table is going to be a mess. Okay, and then I'm just going to go around the cake and make it drip. Let me see. Whoops, I just stuck my finger in it. Am I too close? Trying to make sure you can see. All right, so I start right here on the top. So I'm just gonna go right along the sides. Whoops, I'm trying not to push it too much until I get the feel for it, which I don't have yet, come on. And then I'm just letting it drip down. This thing's not pushing in right, hold on, come on. Stay straight. Oh, I should have did this on my lazy Susan. Ah, I'm shaking. <laughs> like, don't mess it up. Isn't that so pretty? I love that. I just ate and my stomach is growling. 
My ears are so plugged. I, I can hear my voice echoing in my head. So if you want to add extra drip or make it go all the way down more, just add more to that spot. Whoops, <laughs> I totally missed it. Ah! Okay. So I'm just gonna look around and see if I wanna add any anywhere else. These are all short, so I want one to be longer. So I'm just gonna add more frosting so it drips all the way down. Do a little bit more right here. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's do one right here. Just a little bit. I'm gonna add more along this lip. So just look and see how you want it. I'm just All right, I think it looks good. Thick in here needs a little bit thickness on top. So I'm just going to add more to the tops. I'm going to stop because I'm being super picky. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, put my lid back on. Now, I didn't mix this because I wasn't thinking I was going to do it, but I am. So I may need to mix more frosting. So let me grab a bowl. <clears throat> I don't think I have enough made. So I had some started. But yeah, there's not enough in there. So we got to make more. So again, I'm going to get my lightweight spackle. And we're going to mix it up. So I'm going to put some in here. In a bowl. We're going to need a lot of it because... I hate stirring these. <laughs> it's like an arm workout. Alright. So I, I got a whole bowl here. Oh, that's not what I want. Alright, let me move this. So we're going to add white to this, shake it up and add your um, white paint in its apple barrel from Walmart. Go ahead and stir it.
So we want it to look like a vanilla frosting. We don't want it to look like a stark white or... So just add the paint so you get the color you want and really whip this up. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint and some flour. So let's do that and add the flour. Trying to get it mixed so the flour doesn't fly all over. Okay. Whip it up again. <laughs> See, making a cake, you get your exercise in all at once. So when someone says, what'd you do today? Oh, I made a fake cake and worked out. <laughs> stop stirring now because I probably do over stir but <laughs> I like to make sure it's nice and whipped okay so now you're gonna need a piping bag I get my piping bags from Walmart I'm pretty sure well I'm not pretty sure I think Dollar Tree has piping bags but I'm not sure but I think I don't know uh, but I'm just gonna cut the tip off pretty big because I'm using um, a big, oh shit, is the big one full? Oh, I already had a piping bag. <laughs> All right, so I already had a piping bag with the little tip on it. It's a star tip, and it's a big one. So I'm going to take my piping bag and put the frosting in it. Because this was already used, it's sticking... I'm going to get this down as far as I can get it. So if when you're, um, cake is done. If you don't like the color of like your frosting, if it didn't come out like the white or the vanilla that you wanted, you can paint it once it's dry. Okay. So before I start this process, I think I'm going to get that cake on top of where I want it. So I'm going to push all that frosting down in my piping bag, push it all down. squeeze that. There we go. Squeeze all that air out of there and push this all down. Okay. Then you're going to twist your bag. Otherwise, that's going to fly back up out at your hand. And I'm going to go get my cake stand. So hold on one second. I forgot to bring it in. cake stand and I got my round cardboard that uh, for cake forms that you can buy in a pack from Hobby Lobby so I need to put that cake on top of this so all I'm gonna do very carefully that's too thick so I'm gonna take my little plastic knife here and I'm gonna scoop underneath it 
then I slide my hand under there to pick it up. I got my cake on uh, my round. I don't know if you can see over there, but I'm going to set this up there. There's paint everywhere. It's going right. Okay, I'm going to move this mat. You guys, let me go wash this really, really quick. I'm sorry, I'm making a mess. just too much on me to wipe off with a paper towel. Okay, that was messy. And I'm gonna move this now because I don't wanna. Get my stand off full of that. Let me just set this over on the floor. Actually, I don't wanna do that. Keep cat, hold on. <laughs> I mean, I'm so sorry. I would edit that, but I gotta, I gotta learn editing. All right, let me move this back over. Okay, so now it's on the cake stand, and I got my round cardboard um, thing down there. And, okay, isn't that pretty? So we got our frosting in the bag. Squeeze it. Let's squeeze the air out. And then I'm just gonna go around and do little, I'm gonna squeeze, oh, actually the trees. Nope, the trees for the top. That's what I wanna do first. And set the tree on it. So, this isn't gonna be out of view for you because um, I really want you to see the cake, but I'll show you the whole thing once it's done. So I'm just going to set, I can still see the little tag things. I can't get it cut up. Eh. All right, I'm going to set this right in the middle. I pray it's in the middle. Push it down. So now I got the big tall tree in the middle of the cake. Just like that. And now I wanted to add those other trees around it. And I had four. They're a little heavy, so I don't know if this is going to work. Let me try it. And I'm not chipping this. This is for me, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, I would use styrofoam or something. And again, I've never shipped these, so that's, I'm not an expert on that yet. That's why I don't, I'm afraid to. I want to make them and sell them. I'm afraid to ship them. I want to go through all the hassle and it breaks. And that doesn't look even. Uh, I'm just going to have to leave it. All right. So I'm thinking one here, one here, one there, and one there. So I'm going to make them sit into the little frosting things I'm going to do. So I'm going to have to do them big. I'm just going to squeeze. Squeeze. I'm gonna do it like that. I'm gonna let that get hard a little bit before I stick the trees in them actually. So I'm gonna do one over here. Oh, I just gotta make sure I'm even. Ah. hard. That's what I'm going to set the trees in. <laughs> Now, along the bottom, 
I want to use a smaller tip, but I don't feel like switching it. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to use the same thing. And we have the big ones, but I'm going to go around and do smaller ones up here also. So I'm just going to go right next to it. I'm just going to do smaller ones. Just like that. So I'm just squeezing and letting go. That's all I'm doing. So my cake board is a little small. I should have got, they have bigger ones. Um, and I should have more of a lip down here because I like to have things down around the bottom. It's going to be hard to add these, but I like these on the bottom too. And I have a little tiny lip right here. Ah. I'll try to push this over just a little more. No. I'm going to try it. So, again, I want them around the bottom. So, I'm going to do that. Now, I should have a smaller one, but I'm using this one, this tip. I'm just trying to make them small. I'm going to do that all the way around the bottom. Again, you really should have a... Because, I mean, I like the bigger tips around the bottom, too, but... I got green right there. Um... I don't have a big enough board to make them really big. <laughs> it still looks cute. Trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I love making these. I think they're so pretty. Some people don't understand. Like, I honestly didn't either. Last year, uh, as when I did my first cake in my group, and it was horrible. I mean, it was the same concept, but I didn't really care... I just didn't get that concept of them, so I wasn't really into decorating it. Like, I didn't go all out. Um, and then this year, I don't know, I just decided I wanted to add some of them to the theme this year. Candyland and, you know, baked goods and things. Whimsical. So... And then I did it, and it came out good, and then I was obsessed. <laughs> if it came out bad, I probably would have been like, those are stupid. <laughs> All right, so we got the drip or the um, frosting all the way around. So I'm just going to fold this up and cover it so it, I don't have to wash that right away because I might use that soon. Put my lid on. All right, so let's try to put those trees up and hope they stay because I really wanted them in there. I think that would look cute. All right, can you see? Go up a little. I really don't want to be in camera. Ugh. I'm just going to stick them right in there. Oh, man, that didn't work. I'm going to push it down. That's got to be. I know once I move that, it's going to fall. Oh, I can't believe that just fell. I 
thought this was gonna work. Oh, that one did. I think you just gotta let those get a, the longer this dries a little harder, but not too hard. But I think it'll be fine. You just gotta be careful when you're turning your cake. <laughs> Push it in. I think that looks so cool. Are you tipping? Stay straight. Those will stay. It's just, you know, th that's not dry. Once it's dry, I wouldn't worry about it. But until then, I have to keep making sure they're straight. Um, and normally they would, but I'm trying to show you, so I'm moving my cake. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right, I'm gonna leave that. <laughs> I'm gonna plant this back down. And now I brought up to decorate it with, I have some of these beads that I bought from Hobby Lobby in a bag uh, in their Christmas. They're all red and, uh, red and green and there's uh, clear. You know, in the back where they got the floating stuff where the clear ornaments and like all the home DIY things you can do with your kids and like they had uh, different bags of these little sticker ones that um, had different themes to them. So I grabbed this one that had the peppermint candies and ornaments in it that I think I might use around that. So let me dump some of these out because I'm thinking these little peppermint candies, but look, they got little Christmas trees in there and it's Christmas trees. So I thought, oh, that would be cute. <laughs> and or we could pop some red into it because there's red on that base. I'll probably put a little red ornament or something at the top of the tree. I just got to find something, something light, like maybe a pom-pom, a big red pom-pom or something. Uh, they got the little red ornaments, um, the little red peppermints and the green. Let's pull some of them out. I'm not sure. So, or I have, because it's a tree, I have these little, Christmas um, presents. So I think I'm definitely going to use those because again, it's a tree, but I only have five. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I'm just going to put those right below each tree, the smaller trees. So I'm just going to come right here and I'm going to put it in the middle, push it right into that frosting. Make sure it's straight. So I'm going to put those there. Uh, that one's got some spackling on it already, so I'm going to move that one. Turn. I'm recording. No, oh, they're talking baby talk. You guys, I'm recording. Okay. I'm going to go shut that door. That is so cute. Okay. Now, uh, let's do a little bit of sprinkles. So I brought up these red and green, they're sequins actually. I don't have a lot of uh, Christmas fake sprinkles. So you can use sequins, pom-poms, I mean beads whatever you want. So I'm just gonna take some of these red ones and I'm gonna kind of just sprinkle them on. Oops. <laughs> kind of just throwing them on.
I wanted a little bit of red in here because I didn't want it just to be all green and white. Round yet. Let's see. Oh, my ears are driving me nuts. <laughs> my voice is killing me right now. All right. Mm. So cute. Okay, so I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump those on the table. Actually, let me try to pick those up. <laughs> so I can put them back in the jar. Gotta save what you can, right? All right. I'm gonna also add a little bit of green on those. So I'm gonna take the green sequins. These come in like a little bag and then I just put them in these containers. They didn't come in these containers. They came in a little bag. Let's throw a little bit of green on there. This doesn't really take that long to do either. I mean, it really depends on how detailed you get with them. I mean, some of them on Pinterest, oh my God, they're amazing. That's my dream. <laughs> All right, so I got green in there. Now, if you want, you could take little beads. Like, let's see. So I got... The green are kind of big. The red are small. I don't see that many red in here. Okay, okay. Let me just dump some of these out. So you could take these green and red beads and do every other one. Like, I can put a red one. Those are a little big. <laughs> Maybe I should have went with smaller ones. Like these ones. Ah. Let me pull that out. Uh, I'm just gonna throw that away because it's got stuff all over it. Let's do smaller ones. That was too big. Like the little green. And then do like every other one around those little frosting. I don't know what they're called. I'm trying to find the same size. So green, red, green, red. Just those little touches. Just make it pop that much more. I should have had these pulled out. I knew kind of what I was going to do, but I don't... I pull out like a bunch of things and I create as I go. So that's why I don't have these already. Ah, picked out because <laughs> I wasn't sure I was using them. I think that looks cute. You can get very creative with these. Oh, it's killing me to find them now. Come on. It's taking too long. I'm just going to dump them all in a second. Oh my God, I can't find those lights. They keep flipping over to the other color or the back part. These two are stuck together. Oh, come on, let it go. Oh, good. Uh, green. Red. I think those ones were bigger. <laughs> oh, well. Green. And I almost around. Red. And you could do the same thing on the bottom. Which I might do, but not right this minute. <laughs> uh, green. Yeah, I keep going to the bigger ones. Shoot. I didn't want those ones. Uh. Red. Am I almost around? Jesus. Green. I'm just going to repeat that. Green, red, green, red. Oh, I dropped it. Huh. I don't, I should have got my tweezers. Instead of my big clunky fingers. 
Let's see. But it's okay. It's mine. <laughs> so imperfections are okay. Oh, yay. I'm all the way around. Okay. So like I said, you could do that on the bottom. And I probably will with these smaller, the small, small ones. And I'm just going to show you a couple. There's the green. But these are so small. Red. So I'm going to do that with the small ones all the way around also. And I'm doing them in every other one. Oh, I messed that one up. All right, I'm not gonna do that on here though, but I'm gonna do those on the bottom also. So I'll do them when I'm done with the live. I'll just throw them on because I'm sure you don't wanna watch me find these and put them all on there <laughs> like you just did on the top. All right, hold on. Oh, I just dropped some. Okay. So, now I'm thinking, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, these little candies, do I want to do, it's not really straight, I don't know. Um, the little trees, or do we want to do the little candies? Oh, I don't know, or red ornaments. No, there's more red in that, so I think green's next. So, green candy, Christmas tree. How about we do a tree, then a red candy. Uh, then we'll do a Christmas tree. I'm almost done. And then a green candy. So I'm just gonna repeat that pattern. So we're gonna do a tree. Sometimes when you can't decide, you just do it all. <laughs> um, red. Oh shoot, I hope I got enough red. Because I used a lot of those in a different cake. Oh. oh, that would suck. Oh, no, I used them on my train. I painted a, a train I had. And I used those on the wheels. <laughs> it's so cute. You'll see it when I show the house. A tree and then green. Okay. Let's turn. I over, I always over embellish things, so <laughs> no difference with the cakes. Uh-oh, I need one red. Come on. I don't think I got another red. <gasps> oh, no. Green. Green, green. Green. Uh-oh, I don't have another red. Well, shoot. I should have checked that before I did that, huh? <laughs> oh, man. I don't. I don't have one more red. All right. Well, we're just going to have to do green. Oh, shoot. Oh, son of a gun. I needed one more. That's all right. No one's going to notice. That side's got no red in it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put those little... Oh, okay. And the last thing I'm going to do to this... You can even take some of these uh, green candies and stick them up in here. I'm going to kind of just stick them so they're standing up a little. I 
wish I had red. I used them all. I got real ones, but I'm sticking with, you know, these styrofoam ones. All right, not real ones. I mean, the, the candy ones that are thick. All right, so the last thing I'm going to do to this, and then I'm all done. Besides, I'm going to go around and put those little jewels in there. But I'll do that after. So I'm just trying to clean this up. So the last thing is I'm going to take this, where is it, this rope here right here that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to see what you're seeing. Okay. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's SKU 545 It's $4.95. And again, 50% off. I'm just going to take this rope. Let me see if I even like this first. I might have to find a different one. But, yeah, I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to glue it right to that cardboard that I put on there. Okay, so I'm just going to hot glue it, and that's what it's going to look like. So I'm just going to go around with my hot glue. And just start hot gluing it on. I gotta move some of that frosting out of the way. It's gonna get all over my glue gun. But I'll do that. Um, I'm not gonna do that on here. But you just put the hot glue on and stick that up there, right on the edge. And go all the way around. All right, I hope you guys like this. I'm all done. And that's the tree. Or the cake. I know I can't get the whole thing in. I'll take a picture. I am going to put something on the top. I just don't know what yet. I got to find something. Um, but you'll see it in the picture. All right. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you make a cake. If you do, send me purchase on Laura Jean's Wreath Room on Facebook. All right, guys. Have a great day. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.